Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube ch channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, real quickly, for someone out there, the word poison has been coming up a lot. Uh, so you may want to be careful. Uh, some months ago... Some months ago, there was like a weird, and I'm not sure why it's even coming up again. There was a weird experience that I had. Um, it's like, uh, I kept hearing something about poisoning, poisoning, right? And I went to bed one night, and this was a while back. I went to bed one night, and my late mother appeared in a dream, and she was telling me to, hey, take this herb. So in like a family garden in the spirit realm, uh, we have this garden, and it has, like, it, it's it's a very full tree. Like, think of, like, a, oh, man, I don't even know how to explain it. But if you take, like, an evergreen tree, but the leaves are longer, about this long, um, thicker, um, and they look almost like a cactus leaf, but it's skinnier and thicker, right? Um, and it doesn't have the spikes on there. So we have that tree, and it was very, and it's very full. Um, and she plucked one of those leaves off, and she gave it to me, and she said, like, "Take this. Um, it'll help re reverse whatever it is they are, I think, doing to you, or they're gonna do to you." Um, so then when I woke up, first of all, when I saw her, I, for some reason, I felt upset or uh, like angry with her because my mom like passed when I was really young. And I'm like, uh, why am I upset with this woman? Like she didn't choose to pass. I mean, spiritually, it was part of her contract. She agreed to it. But, you know, on the human, from the human sense, of course, she didn't choose to like leave and things like that. Someone took her out. Right. So. Um, I remember I was feeling a little angry with her, but then when I woke up a while later, I'm like, why am I angry at this woman? She didn't have anything to do with what happened to her. It wasn't a choice, right? So I had to kind of work through that, uh, work through those emotions and learn to let that go and kind of, you know, forgive because I didn't, I mean, I'm saying forgive because it's not really forgive and she didn't have a choice in that, right? So anyways, she's telling me to take this and I'm like, oh, okay. And... So the thing is, in the spirit, the thing you're taking, there's only one, like there's only one plant, right? But in the physical, we may have to put A, B, C, D, E, F together to get that one thing, right? So the remedy they're showing you, it can be just them plucking something off of a tree and giving it to you and that's all you need. But in the physical, you may have to find rosemary. You may have to find a, 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 a bay leaf. You may have to find some ginseng or something like that and put it together so you can have that one thing that they showed you in the spirit realm. Also, it's very characteristic of my mother because when she was alive, she was what people would call like a medicine woman. People would go to her uh, to put these herbs and medicine together so that they could uh, heal and things like that. Um, but I woke up and I went ahead and bought what when i went to the store i didn't know exactly because i'm like she's giving me this green leaf from this tree does she know that uh, that tree doesn't exist <laughs> on earth or something so i woke up I, go, I went to the store some days later probably a week later or something like that and i'm looking around the store and i see this bottle and it's like that one get that one so i went and got that one <clears throat> and i took it home well, I brought it home. Um, I ended up taking the medicine for, I think, like one, two, I think it was three days that I took it. But after the third day, my body couldn't take the medicine anymore. When I would take it, it wouldn't, like, work. It would, like, 
it was rejecting it because I think like what it was supposed to do, it had already done. So it didn't need to do, my body didn't need it anymore. So I went ahead and kind of stopped taking it. But like from time to time, like it spread out, like even a month from the, the last time I took it, when I would take the medicine, my body would reject it. It would be like, no, 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 no. Like I would get these really horrible migraines. Uh, my stomach, like my system would just be out of whack. And, you know, I stopped taking it. And then I wait another two months. I said, well, maybe my body has forgotten it. I can take the medicine again. No, it, it's the same thing. So I ended up dumping the medicine out, right? And some time passed again, like some months have passed. And I recently, maybe a couple of weeks ago, went to buy the same medicine. On my way home, the, uh, the woman had doubled the, the bags, the plastic bag. And when I said, like, maybe like 10 minutes before I got home, the the bottle tore through the bag and fell on the cement and crashed and opened. So it's like I only needed the medicine for that specific length of time, those three days, but I'm, I can't take the medicine anymore. And whatever someone was trying to do, I don't know if someone was trying to poison me. I think that's why she was coming to, that's why she appeared to me to let me know that, hey, they're trying to do this to you or the, they've done this to you or something. Maybe you don't know, but we need you to take this so that you can heal from it. But I'm telling you all from the day, from that, those three days that I took it and the medicine did what it was supposed to do, I've never been able to take that medicine again. I've tried numerous times. Every time I do it, my body rejects it. I either get sick or something happens. I try to buy another bottle. It ended up falling through two bags and fell on the cement, the pavement, and crashed. Everything spilled. I mean, like, ever, there was nothing left. Like, there was no, like, oh, well, I have this little bit left. I can take it home. No, like, everything was gone. Um, but I'm saying that to say because for some reason, the past few weeks, I've been hearing something about poisoning. So someone may be trying to poison you. Um, you could be a gentleman. Maybe you're a king of pentacles or whoever you are, king of cups, queen of cups. You could, it doesn't matter the gender. There's something where it's like a group of people. They see that they're not able to stop you from doing something, some type of decision you've made to move on or remove yourself from a situation or collaboration, whatever an institution or relationship, whatever it is. So they may have some type of plan to take you out. And it could be through poisoning. So you need to be very mindful and only eat what it is that you know of, you are aware of. So if you're eating from out, make sure you get your own food. If you're cooking at home, make sure you cook your own food. There are people around you you probably probably need to stop eating from. Um, so just be very cautious. And with me, I don't even know how someone will manage to get something into my body because I typically don't really eat from other people. Uh, it's very rare for you to see me to eat from another person's house. Um, if I do, then you got to be someone that I really know and trust. And even then I'm more prone to say, no, thank you. Like I had a friend that I was around for like, I think like five years or something. And when I would go to her house, she would like offer me food and things like that. And I would always just say, oh, no, thank you. Even like water, I would take my own bottle of water with me to her house. And it was just like, that's just something that I do, um, but I remember when I was growing up, it wasn't always like that. But as I got older, it was just like, no, I'm not eating from this person. I don't want to eat from other people. Um, so with the poisoning thing coming with me and my mother, there had to be someone very close to me that either knows, like has had access to me in some way, shape or form because I don't have friends and things like that. So it had to be someone that had some type of access to me or was maybe invading my privacy, so maybe they did something. Because I remember for a while when I would order water, the water would come fine, but then like a few days later or a couple of days later, there would be one of the bottles like leaking that someone had poked something in there, poked a hole in there, tried to put something in there or something. And like all of a sudden, I would go to get water out of the pack and there would be like all water wasted. Um, and I have to clean that up or something like that. Or I will pull one out and there's water dropping from either like the side of the bottle or the bottom of the bottle or something like that. Like places where like the water shouldn't even, like it don't even make no sense, right? So just be very cautious. You could have people trying to take you out because they have done everything to block you from moving forward, changing, trying to change your mind about partnering up with someone or giving to someone. 
and you ha uh, have made a decision and you're sticking to it, that you're moving on. So be very cautious. I'm telling you, be very cautious. We got the three of swords to the ten of swords out here. Got the eight of swords out here already that people are really stuck in their mind that you are choosing to give someone wish fulfillment. You're choosing to be alone. You're choosing to, you know, do things your way. You're having a new perspective on life. They're very worried about someone being seen and you giving someone an offer because they at least a disappointment for them. They could be disappointed that this person work is the truth. Someone does hold a lot of sacred knowledge and things like that that they don't. There's some type of jealousy going on and you choosing to partner up with this person or you choosing to give this person a contract has a lot of people pissed off and angry behind the scenes. I see a lot of sores out here, which means there's something that is very much bothering a group of people, but they may not be telling you, they may not be showing you, they may be trying to pretend like they're okay with it and they're going to be moving on, but it's a lie. They're not okay. They're still lying about causing blockages and stalemates for someone's work out here. It's a queen of cups. They're trying to trying to block so you may have people pretending like they've let go of something but they haven't let go of it they're still doing something so i don't know if you maybe told them to stop doing something or they were advised to stop doing something they haven't stopped doing it they are still doing it they're paying third parties to do their dirty works and things like that it's very some yeah they're still doing it they're paying third parties there's not a source out here they're paying third parties to do it. They're trying to stop someone as well from coming towards an Empress energy, Star C, Queen of Cups energy to give them a friendship. So that would be you. They are trying to stop you from coming towards a feminine energy um, who could be like a Queen of Wands energy in the upright. Someone very balanced, someone very healed, uh, easy to work with, easy to get along with. They're trying to cause a tower for this person and trying to cause a tower for you. There could be something where they're trying to steal from you as well. Like, they're trying to sabotage you, basically, from taking actions to come towards someone that is humble, self-sufficient, down-to-earth. Uh, all of that good stuff. It bothers them. So, it's a lot of lies and jealousy, maliciousness. The, you know, the same rodeo we've been dealing with when it comes to these people. They're very jealous or angry about someone having a new beginning. They've been paying people behind the scenes to make sure that this person cannot have a new beginning cannot get in a relationship if they get in a relationship they wanted to be with someone that's very toxic and karmic someone very low down low vibrational someone very insecure uh someone that does not treat them right they want some they, they want this woman to end up with someone that's going to cheat on them have them isolated reject them uh manipulate all kind just playing a lot of mental mind games a lot of mental games with this person um it's what they want happening so just just thread with caution it's a lot of maliciousness going on behind the scenes um but it's all because you want to give to someone they're very angry i don't know why a group of people are this uh, uh, uh i don't know why a group of people have this much animosity for one person it's like they may also see this person as better than them and because they see this person as better than them it's not like this woman said that she's better than these people i don't even think this is someone that thinks that way because this is someone showing up in the nine of pentacles meaning that this is someone very humble but they are trying to have this person in some type of four of pentacles energy where they're having to fend for themselves having to budget really tightly like it's some type of jealousy that is going on and this is why like someone is very bothered by a woman being able to take care of themselves not out here looking for hand eyes. They don't care if they have... The woman don't care if she got $2 in her pockets is what I'm hearing. She's still going to come out here and figure things out. And it bothers these people because they want to see this woman out in the street begging. They want to see this woman out homeless. They want to see this woman out broke, busted, and disgusted. Like, just a lot of maliciousness from a group of people that should know better, do better, but they just refuse to because there's some type of uh, insecurity... Some type of, I don't know what the word is to use for these people, but there's some type of, like, these are like monsters. Like, there's something where it's like people have lost their identity or maybe they never had it. Their individuality or something of that nature. And they are just out here doing a lot of wickedness. 
they're just doing something solely because they don't want to see someone else living a fulfilling life very worry about someone receiving some type of communication some type of offer uh and being able to have a new beginning being able to move away relocate for some of you yeah it's a queen of pentacles they're trying to keep an offer they don't want someone giving her an offer they're very heartbroken about a queen of pentacles they're very angry about a queen of pentacles receiving some type of offer uh they're trying to take this person out maybe plotting a demise plotting an ending they're trying to send someone to take this person out. I don't know if they hire like a hitman or something like that um, to take this person out. And maybe the hitman changed his mind or something like that. But at the end of the day, this woman is still going to be good in life. Like It's like someone trying to take you out in your universal contract before the universe decides that the contract is over. Um, so it's like they're trying to take you out so that you don't receive something that is yours, but you'll still receive it. There's something about a hitman being hired. There's something about a hitman being hired. Hmm. Yeah. They're trying to end this woman's success. Victory. They don't want her having victory over them. But it's like... It's like a one... It's a one-sided battle. It's a group of people coming up against one person, but the person they're coming up against is a queen of pentacles in the upright. And this person is not paying these people any mind. Like, whoever this woman is, it could be a man as well. Like, this is some, the queen of pentacles tend to be people that keep to themselves. They focus on their home front, their business, and what pertains to them, what, what pertains to other people. The queen of pentacles don't give two Fs about. If you don't come to her to talk to her about your problems, she ain't worried about your problems. That's your business respectfully okay she's not looking for you don't be looking for her she's not concerned about what is going on like they tend to keep to themselves they're very down to earth easy to talk to great mother wife friend sister all in one businesswoman all in one but maybe they ain't looking for you these are people that have one to two confidants they're not looking for the whole Jurassic Park or the whole theme park to be friends with them. Nothing. And these kind of energies bother people that are insecure. They, they want to trap this woman. They want to have her. It's like, it's like this woman being herself bothers these people because they have to pretend to be her. You know what I mean? Like, you have a queen of pentacles that's genuinely a queen of pentacles. You got a queen of... This is an empress I'm picking up on. You got an empress energy that's genuinely an empress. So then you come across the fake empresses that have been pretending... That have been pretending to be empresses for I don't know how many years. But the genuine walks in the build, building and all of a sudden the rest of those fake ones, uh, they start diminishing. There's something where they also don't want a woman around because... They said the woman is either too beautiful or she's too uh, noticeable. So she's going to take attention away from them because I, I, baby, what kind of, what kind of kingdom guarding stuff do, do, do my ancestor got me covering? Are you serious? They don't want a woman around because they feel that she's going to take all the attention away from them. The queen of pentacles are not even people that care for attention. First of all, they don't want any of that. These are people that tend to act from behind the scenes a lot of the times. They don't mind being in the front, but they tend to do things from behind the scenes. Like if it's business, something needs fixing, these kind of women will come in and fix it. They ain't going to tell you what it did or that it was them that did it. They'll just, you just come to work one day and something is working and it's working. They're not going to tell you, oh, you know, I did this and I did that. If you ask them, they'll tell you, yeah, I did it, but... They ain't going to volunteer no information to you. Like, they're not looking for attention. So, which lets me know the women within this community, they are attention seekers, which means that they're insecure with us starting out with the it of source. They're looking for the wrong kind of attention in a community, more than likely a business. They want the men to flaunt over them. They want, there's something going on. Like, they cannot compete with this woman, so that's why they've been trying to destroy her. It's something like that. It said, oh, no, if she comes in, she's the son. We will never get any attention on us. But it said, it's not about attention. This is a whole Empress energy. The truth is out about. 
It's, it all has to do with insecurities. They don't want this person getting in a relationship. They don't want this person having a new beginning. They don't want this person being seen. And it's all because of jealousy. Greed and jealousy. Those are the two things. Greed and jealousy. Like someone... Like whoever this Queen of Pentacles is in the upright, the Empress, this is a powerhouse. This is someone that's very intellectual. This is someone that's very down to earth, business savvy, mother, uh, wife, possibly. If she's not a wife, will make a great wife. Whatever this is. But she, this woman's energy, her essence, it bothers other women because they're not that. They have to pretend to be that. And that's why they're so determined to block an emperor from being practical about a situation. Like he, like that man already know what's going on. Like he don't caught on to these people a whole long time ago and they don't even know it. I'm telling you, he caught on. Someone's listening to their intuition. They want to have closure with a woman. He's looking into something. They're pissed off because you're genuine. They're trying to take some type of action to sabotage your energy, your communications, your good news. Like, they don't want you receiving it. And everything they do, they keep sabotaging themselves because you're still managing or maintaining your energy. You're still standing your ground. And it's making a decision very easy for an emperor because he sees exactly what it is these people are doing. Like, that man is probably going to end up cutting his losses with these people and moving on. Even if he doesn't go to that empress, he's still moving on. Like, he knows the truth now. He knows the truth. I'm telling you. Like, they don't want him coming in to give you an offer. Nothing. They don't want you receiving a message about an offer being given to you. You being considered for something. Something being something going in your favor. Like, I don't know what this is. But, honey, this is a different kind of a... Uh -uh. There could be something where it's like they've been paying a king of cups to do you something. Like, either people have been donating or investing into this man to sabotage you. And it was all based on a lie. And all of the lies are coming. Yeah, all of the lies are coming out. That this man has been doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes to get people to work with him against you. He don't want to tell people what it is he did to you. Why? Maybe he lost a connection with you with this three of swords out here. He's not with you. You two aren't getting back together. And he's pissed off because he can't have wish fulfillment with you. It's like someone seeing your value after you're gone, but they want to force a new uh, connection with you. And you said no. So now he's pissed off, but he's going around telling people a whole lot of lies so they can see they can see you in some type of light that's not yours. They can feel sorry for him, but it's like no one's feeling sorry for this man. Things are being attuned. Something is being balanced out. Again, that man is, whoever the emperor is in the upright, he is... He, he's he's being practical about the situation. He's being practical. Yeah, absolutely. There's, there goes that lawyer. There goes that lawyer paying the lawyer to do something. Yeah, to sabotage. To defeat. They want, they're paying a lawyer to help them defeat you. Because they're not able to defeat you straightforward. Like... Whatever this is, someone knows that they can't go up against you. So they have to pay their way to have something go in their favor. Because they know you're actually in the upright. You do things the right way. You're not out here being malicious. You don't got to pay people to do stuff. You don't got to buy friendships and things like that. Whoever this queen of pentacles reverse is, she got to pay her. She got to pay to have friends. Like someone looks like a joke walking around. I don't know what this is. I don't want to spend too much time in it. Yeah. Trying to keep someone. Yeah, they're trying to keep a connection from happening. We got the eight of swords to the four of pentacles to the ace of cups. They're trying to keep a connection from happening. Keep two people separated and alone. If a man is in a relationship, they want him to stay in a toxic relationship. If a feminine energy is alone, they want to keep her single and alone so that they don't end up together. But some type of destiny is playing out. And it's going to happen when these people least expect it. And they're still going to be confused as to how did these two get together. We already uh, put everything in place and make sure they never connect. Make sure they never get together. Uh, yeah, other manipulation is over, darling. That man knows. He knows. That's all I can tell you. All he knows. 
and he knows and there's still a woman around him trying to act like she don't know or have anything to do with what it is. I'm telling you, he knows. He knows. There's still a woman around him trying to act like she doesn't know anything that's going on. She didn't partake in something. It has not. No, they're all a part of it. He, she knows. Yeah, she knows. She knows. And something is being, like, it's done. All the stealing, the lying, the, everything is being brought to an end. It's a failure. They're not able to steal something from you. This has to do with your work. And it has them bother because they know you're someone that's very intellectual. You're going to speak your truth. By your work, right? Your your work has to do with something that has to do with speaking. So you could be a public speaker. You could be like a a a a a, a, a counselor, a teacher, professor, spiritualist, whatever this is. What it's being followed by the Eight of Cups. You're you are someone whose intellect is on a different level. And these people thought they were going to get away with something. They ain't getting away with it. <laughs> People have insight now about what has been going on. They've been trying to block you from being seen, stealing from you, taking from you, lying, causing a lot of deception and things like that. Some type of rituals going on. Someone is living in fear, a whole lot of fear about your resources being protected or an offer coming towards you that's going to end some type of karmic chapter that they put you in for no reason. You should have never experienced uh, uh, this loss. This loss in your finances or your blessings or whatever. And that's what this emperor knows. Yep. That's what he knows. <laughs> emperor said, all I know is this should have never happened. <laughs> this person should have never experienced any losses or whatever. Never. Exactly. And this was coming out reverse. So there's clarity out. They're still trying to cut. Like he knows. It's like, just like I said. This man knows the truth. But they're still trying to cause manipulations and things like that. To keep him from seeing the truth that he already knows. So I'll just play along with them, sir. If I was you. Just play along with them. Play along. Just play along. Just play along. Yeah, just play along. They're trying to cause stillness while they figure out how they can steal something from someone. Trying to keep him from leaving a situation. It's like they're trying to cover every end, but there's nothing they can really do because when the universe wants something to happen, maybe it always happens. It, not, like, it don't matter how crafty you are. When the universe wishes for something to happen, maybe it's a wish come through. This is their matrix. You forgot that. Someone has spent, uh, I just heard, like, a woman has spent a lot of money to hide the truth. But the truth is still out. Your work is, your work is solid. You're a solid person. The truth is out about your work. Like, this woman, whoever this group is, they've put in a lot of work. They've paid a lot of people for your work to be seen as something that's not legit. But, baby, it is. It is. It is. I don't know if they're trying to get a lawyer to work with a wealthy man, manipulate him, make it seem like he's friends with him. I don't know what this so they can cause, cause more stagnations and still miss um, so that the truth about someone's work is not seen. Listen, someone is binded to something. Everything they've been doing, they're binded to it. They cannot get away from it. Someone has some type of prison sentence coming in. Someone is in some type of self-imposed mental imprisonment because of everything they've been doing. They may be worried about going to prison. We can't help you. That's your business. That's your business. Eh? Um, but it's like they're, they're trying hard to have someone's work be rejected, looked down upon. It's that this is dark. This is work of darkness, but the whole time they're the ones who are dark behind the scenes. It's like, oh, this person is not religious. This, but the whole time you're more religious than these people are. You have a closer connection to God than these people do. These are people that pretend to be in the upright, be religious publicly, but they don't got no connection to source. Not a freaking connection. These are people when they're talking to source, it's like source is taking a, a snooze. It's like, uh, mm, mm. 
And they're still their source, 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 source energy, source energy. And that source energy is that the being you've caught is not available at the moment. Please check the number and try again. And then when they try the number, get it right, said, please leave a message. Try to leave a message. The mailbox is full. It's one of those folks. It's one of those. Source said they don't, it, it does not F. They don't F with these people at all on any day until they get their acts right. It's that until you do right by a star, see, you, you fixing to lose everything. They don't care if they got to take your freedom, your resources, nothing. Your health, they said they don't care. Until you do right by a star, see, Empress Energy, you going to lose everything. All that luxurious living. People, this, these people have been doing something for money. Luxury. A luxury, a, a specific kind of lifestyle, but you're losing it all. Queen of Pentacles, baby, you're about to be going through karma. Ooh, getting a taste of your own medicine because the truth is out about you. She, this is someone that's been out here pretending to have nothing to do with a situation, but she's the culprit. She's the one calling all the hits behind. Like she's the puppeteer master. You go do this, you go do that, you go do this, you go do that. And she has been doing it from behind the scenes. You know, like how Punches Spiley washes him, pretending like she didn't got nothing to do with it. She don't have nothing to do with it. But the whole time, she's the one ordering people around. But when you see her and she's uh, all bubbly and pretending like everything is okay, it's not okay, baby. She's going through karma. We got the three of swords and the ten of swords around this woman with the two of swords. You're going through karma. Ten of swords, eight of swords. Oh, girl, I can't help you. I cannot help you. She's been, they've been out here. This is the, the woman you will consider to be like the wealthy woman in the community, the privileged woman in the community. How she got her privilege, nobody knows. Mm. Um, but she's been working really hard to keep some type of offer from being given to a star seed. An Empress Energy through manipulation. She has gotten other people to work with her. This is like someone going to, a, <laughs> this keeps coming up. If you were working for an institution and you left that institution or something like that, went to another institution, this will be the moron that follow you to that institution or contacted that institution to get them to see you in a light that's not yours. So lied about you. So the people in that new institution will have gone from wanting to work with you to looking at you like you're someone that's low vibrational, someone that's problematic, someone that's emotionally and mentally unstable. The whole time, all of them are doing something behind the scenes to temper with you, to make you seem like you are unstable mentally, emotionally, right? Uh, because there's something that was meant for you that they don't want you to have. So if they keep doing that to you, you keep coming across as unstable, then whoever this offer is coming from will look at you and say, oh, wow, I cannot give to this person. I don't want to partner up with this person. They're not stable. They're not going to represent my company or they're not who I thought they were, something like that. But it's not going in their favor. There's something where a woman is realizing after everything she did or a group of people, after everything they did, to block someone from coming towards you, to, to get someone to see you in some type of light, it's not working because your ancestors, the universe, are all over it. I'm telling you, like the truth, the truth is out about your work. A lie was spread, but it takes one lie, one, one truth to dismantle it all. It don't matter how long a lie has been going, how far and why it has gone. One truth would dismantle it all because when you tell one lie, guess what? You got to tell another lie to cover that lie. Tell another lie to cover that lie. Tell another lie. To... By the time something is coming out, you you don't even know what lies you told. You can't even remember who you told the lies to because you don't been going around everybody and telling lies. Now that something is out and they're asking you questions, you don't even know how to put two and two together because you don't remember what lie you told and who you told it, told it to. So you got to backtrack. Backtracking ain't going to work in your favor. Anyways, listen, two people will be coming together, working together, building some type of abundance, may end up getting married with the fool out here, okay? Something, listen, something is being balanced out. It is being balanced out. Yeah, it's being balanced. Our celebration, we got six, three, three, we got nine, something's almost over, six, 
celebration moving forward, sealing on the karma waters, uh, healing, recovery, ascension. Uh, and then we got three, which is uh, like a soul tribe coming together, celebration as well, uh, giving, bounty. Yeah, something, absolutely, absolutely something's going to work out. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.